Uh. Uh. Are you ready for the milk? Where am I? You're underneath the Rainbow Squirt's hut. Okay. In their secret Rainbow Squirt sanctuary. This looks like a boss fight area. There he is. It's him. It's the milkman. It's Roy. I told you not to follow. Now you must die. But that is the way of the Rainbow Squirt. No okay. milk for you. Ow, Look out. Ow. Yeah. Okay, come on. At least give me a second to put my gun out. <laughs> it's ricocheting oh, things that working bounce. out very yeah, well. Yeah, I think I feel like it's one of the best upgrades in the game. Oh, no. You still some dream fluffs? Yeah. Yeah. It's time for me to pluck out your eye. What now? Pluck out your eye. That is the purpose of the goggles. Ooh. Fine. Then I'll do this. Because I can. <laughs> okay, give me a sec. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna solve this problem. Yeah. This box is free. Oh, you should just turn the lights back on. This isn't working. Yeah. Must have heard me breathing. Or shouting. It's not like you're being stealthy. Yeah, she's just yelling. You could just use echo location to find her. <laughs> yeah. What have you done? Good job. He wakes. Oh, <laughs> his eyes come from different directions. <laughs> I love the milkman. My milk is delicious. Oh, listen to the music here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am the milkman. My milk is delicious. Special delivery today. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you brought back the milkman now, Dan. I am the milkman. My milk is delicious. Boyd? Are you okay? Time for the final delivery to this address. Hey, is that milk regular kind? Or the exploding dream kind? It's fortified with what the world wants. What the world deserves. Are you sure you don't want to just talk about this, Boyd? Hey, you got into the asylum. Hey. Whatever works, I guess. <laughs> I feel like... I feel like we should probably follow him. Yeah, you're in now. Get to the top of the tower like I did in my vision. Oh yeah, watch where Boyd's going. He's having a good time. He's gonna have a good day. You know, he's gonna drop off this milk. It's been a tough life like, for this guy. He's... It's just lazy on the jokes. Oh. Oh. I'm gonna let this happen. Well, he, he could you talk do your him thing, out of Boyd. it. I wonder if you can clairvoyance at him. What would he see? That's, oh, that's not the... Oh, you're milk rats. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Look at me! Now you're fortified. Mmm. I'm adorable. Okay, what? Do it, Boyd, come on! Talk to him. The people are waiting. Do it! That way's boarded up. Do oh, it! I thought I could get off of this walkway and just walk underneath like a scrub. <laughs> they wouldn't let me. I got some brains to put back in those heads. Oh man, I wish I could go down there and like climb over them. <laughs> <laughs> Just step on top of them as they're Whee! sitting there brainless. Yeah, right where we left them. Boyd's just gonna tempt it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna Ralph it. I mean wreck it. <laughs> oh. Thank you all of you. You're all so kind. Uh. You make a girl so happy. <laughs> oh, you found
found my old trophy. I should really put that thing away before somebody hurts themselves on that gleaming metal claw-like part on the top. Say, would you like to hear the story of how I won that award, dear boy? Or are you trying to take it because you don't think I deserve it? No, no, you deserve it. I didn't take anything from you. I didn't ask to be famous. I just wanted you to love me. Hey! What? You're supposed to be dead! <laughs> ah! <laughs> get back in there. Yeah, help her control her mood swings. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. Attack! No, wait! Don't listen to him! Retreat! <laughs> Shut up, you fool! The battle is ours! Wellington is on the run! This is our moment of glory. Oh, shut up, you loon. The battle can't be won. <laughs> We're gonna lose it. I'm afraid you lost it years ago, Fred. Now pipe down over there. I am the orderly, and I run a quiet, peaceful, insane asylum. Understood? <laughs> oh, now see, you've disrupted Mr. Tagley's art therapy session. Ha <laughs> ha! de gloire est arrivé! Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> Welcome to the Saint Asylum proper. <laughs> <laughs> so these guys are great. So you want to talk to Mr. Forehead real first. Alright, if you insist. Let's take it to the chateau, boys. Greetings, Dr. Lobotta. Up to the secret laboratory then, is it? One moment. You're not Dr. Lobotto. My eyes may be half gone. But I would recognize the mad doctor anywhere. He's got that stone-cold face a man doesn't easily forget. He wears a beastly smock, covered in thick straps like an electric chair. And in the place where his hand should be, there's nothing but a gleaming metal claw. So if I'm not mistaken, you're not Dr. Roboto. You don't pay my salary, so kindly back away from my elevator and die. Thank you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> All I see is... That guy might as well be voiced by Alan Rickman. Yeah. General? So, you need I to get trick it. the orderly. I get it. Oh, you didn't have to tell me how to do that game. Elevator. I figured it out already. <laughs> you are Find a claw. To your family, a lab coat? Does he get a bike for a footman? You think I'm dumb, don't you? And a face with a Lobato costume. Uh, excuse me, sir? My name is Napoleon Bonaparte. Oh, uh, excuse me. Mr. Bonaparte. Shh, I only think I'm Napoleon Bonaparte. Do not listen to the weakling. He denies his lineage because he feels it. I like your jacket. Very strappy. You want it? You can have it. Just help me undo these buckles in the back and all. What are you doing? The uniform of this army is sacred. We shall wear it proudly until the battle is over. Help me. He's got a literal Napoleon <laughs> complex. <laughs> Art therapy. Hey, buddy. What you painting there? That is my patron, my psychiatrist, my warden. Looks like Dr. Lombardo to me. Is he the one who chained you up? The doctor won't let me go until I complete my treatment. So why don't you just finish the painting and go home? Why don't I just... Wow! See? Sometimes you just have to... <laughs> you painted a bullfight over the doctor's face. Why a bullfight? Huh? huh? Edgar, why do you... Every time! Every time it is the same! The matador! The bull! How I despise you both! But my hands won't let you go! Ah! That is why I am here, chained in more ways than you can see. A prisoner of art. A prisoner of art. Well, uh, I'm gonna go downstairs. You good? I'm good. <laughs> okay, so... All right. The fun thing about these inmates 
is that they all have particular, I guess, psychological abnormalities or problems, disorders. That's the word. Yeah. So we just got through Boyd, who's clearly paranoid schizophrenic. But then we've got Gloria, who seems to have bipolar. Narcissism. A bit bipolar of narcissism. disorder. Uh, Fred, who's got, despite the Napoleon shtick, it's really more multiple personalities. And Edgar, who's got serious anger issues. So, we've got about 40 minutes left. Yeah. Wanna hop into a brain? Yeah. I think you'd like Fred's out of all of them. So let's you decide if you want to go in that one first or later. You do Fred's first, get that sweet jacket? Yeah. Uh, I'm blanking on... Okay, yeah. The door. The psycho portal. Yeah. Oh, so let's save. These boys are too young to die. I'm too young to die. Plop it on his nose. Sacre bleu! I have been hit! 